get back out here. Uh, had a really good day yesterday and excited to see what today's going to bring. So uh, we'll be inside again today and, and uh, excited to get back at the practice. Just stay inside all week because you're going to be inside Saturday? Yeah, it's got a lot to do with it. And, uh, you know, just change a little bit of a venue up and, um, you know, kind of get the, get the music up a little bit in there and create a crowd noise. So, yeah. You said Chase is going to be out this week. Uh, what's he got? And you think it's just a one-week thing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I believe it is. And so he's, I mean, he's in concussion protocol right now. So I, that's, that's all I know right now. Is Colton Jackson available this week? Colton is available. Yeah, he was working out yesterday and uh, will work out today as well. Coach, obviously the four game deal has passed now. Has anyone left the team or anything, you know, like the transfer portal deal? No, not, n none that I know of. <laughs> okay. Is there anything, I know you guys want to stick to routines and stuff, but is there anything you mix up after, after the way last week was just to, I don't know, get their heads right? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, focusing on why the results happened like they did. You know, the, role, the, the, the results are behind us. It, it's why, why and what happened. Uh, so our, our big focus has been on why. And, um, you know, and so I think we did a little bit this week of changing some few things up, changed a few team meetings up the way we do some things and uh, just kind of get out of a little bit of a routine and uh, move it inside. And um, so that's, that's been part of the, the plan this week. What's Trey Knox in? Uh, Trey has just been his hip, but he'll be he'll be fine. You mentioned Traylon Burks expected back. I mean, is he going to do punt return stuff still, or might you let someone else do that to kind of reduce the hits? Well, we anticipate him being back, and uh, and he would be back there in punt return. So he's out here today working out. So we'll see. What does the kickoff return situation look like for you? Well, you know we've got. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, it'll it'll come a little bit more clear picture after today. So who's who's actually traveling? Who's going down? As far as Davion mm -hmm. possibly being able to come out. Yeah, I, I can't see Davion playing this week with that. Oh, yeah. so it looked like Perotti was back there on. The yeah, last Nathan week. Nathan does a really good job. He's really consistent catching the football, and that's you know obviously that's important. Um, the court, the San Jose State quarterback says something about the safeties. You were giving him some clues the other night. Did you hear that? And what what? What would you think of that? Well, as a quarterback, that's you, you're always keying the, the body demeanor of a safety. And uh, obviously he had a, a great beat on our safeties. And so, but uh, I think that, you know, I, I, I thought he did some underneath stuff too. So it was, but yeah, that's, you always teach your quarterbacks to look at the safeties and check body demeanor and stance and all that. With Hammond's missing so much time and I, I guess working with scout team, is he like, a viable option to get in there and do some stuff. I know he's working wide receiver yesterday. Yeah, you know, because he's been a part of our individual drills and, and we've gotten him over and he's gotten some teamwork uh, during the four weeks he's been out. So, yeah, he's he'll be a part of this, the at, plan this week. At what point was it made the decision to, to work him at wide receiver? Well, I think when you look at the injuries that we've had at wide receiver mm -hmm. and um, this year and so in the number of guys that have been out, and so just his ability to be able to come in and, and focus in and, and help us a little bit at wide receiver. We know what he can do at running back. We can always move him back there. But So we're trying to get him a, a, the best of both worlds here. Chiefs, there, you think there's a possibility we see Spivey this weekend? Uh, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll wait and see. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, I've been very pleased with the way Rakeem and, and Devois have ran the football this year. Chief told us on Monday that, that going back to the press box might be uh, in the works. Have y'all made a decision on that? Yeah, that, that, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, what does that do for you? Or well, I, I just think, again, it kind of goes with everything else. It's just to change a routine a little bit. Um, you know, it gives him an opportunity to be upstairs and, and uh, you know, and be able to, you know, see some of the adjustments and, and, and be able to get it communicated down on the field. And so I just think it's, it's just part of us just kind of changing a few things up. Coach, I, you've had three true, true freshman wide receivers get in the game. What does Shamar Nash well, I think Shamar just needs to continue to stay on the course that he's on and working and preparing and learning the offense. And um, whether that's this year or next year or whenever it may be, um, you know, he's going to be a, a good, really good player for us. It's just, you know, it's it's just a process right now with him. Kirk Gardner has been a guy that was a walk-on that has gotten on the field. What, what surprised you about him? Well, he's he's uh, got great hands um, and he's very sudden when he catches the football. And, uh, you know, he's came to camp, came to camp last year here, and uh, and we really liked him. Um, and uh, you know, we just didn't have a number to give out. But uh, so, but him coming here and walking on, and and obviously making plays during camp, we've been very excited about him. What's the balance of 
putting that game behind you, but also taking the lessons with you for the players? Well, I think it's a lesson learned from everybody on that that regard, and, and where our program is, and is that you know we've got to you got to learn to deal with with success as you deal with adversity, and uh, and how you prepare, and it's and and you know once once something happens, good or bad, you've got to put that behind you, and you got to be able to prepare and lock in, and it happens across college football each and every week. And if you're not ready, you'll get your tail kicked. And, and we got beat. And so we can mope about it or we can do something about it. And that's the only thing that matters right now is how we're going to respond because of it. And um, we've had a great week or a great day yesterday. I anticipate a great day at practice today. And we're going to go down there Saturday and we're, we're, we're going to give everything we got. Who's what? your um, fourth captain this week? Dev Wall Whaley. Okay. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the tightness of this series the last few years on the SEC call today. Um, how big would it be to get a breakthrough win against this group in particular? Well, I think it's a, you know anytime you can get a conference win uh, would be huge uh, to go on the road and and um, you know to go to Dallas, a, a big part of our footprint in recruiting, and, and uh, would be huge. It, it's, it's a big game for both teams. Both teams backs against the wall. Um, you're going to see the best of both football teams this Saturday after Saturday morning, and. Uh, it would be huge for this football program moving forward. You, you like playing the game down there and, you know, the Jones being a part of all that? I do. I, I think, again, because of our fan base and, uh, you know, the, the alumni that's down there, the, the recruiting that we, uh, that we have in that area, um, I think it's been a, it's a, great, a great plus for us. With Starkle, what, again, with the balance thing, mm -hmm. but with him, how do you take that, you know, not forcing things, but also keep the, the killer instinct that you talk about? Well, I, I mean, I think Nick's a competitor, and this, you know, he's he's played football for a long time and understands that, you know, if you play this game uh, and continue to play this game, you're going to have some, some games that don't go in your way, and you have to respond and, and how you bounce back, and that's that's what I've seen in Nick. I uh, saw it, you know, he, he was hurting Saturday, as we all were. Uh, saw the way he responded on Sunday. And um, again, I'm not letting anybody in this program walk in these doors right here with their head down. And you walk in there with your head down, you're going to walk out of here. And you're going to have your head up, and we've got, we got to do something about it. And um, there's nobody feeling sorry for, for anybody in this building. You want to prepare, obviously, you say, you know, each game the same. Mm -hmm. But is that realistic with so much Texas A&M, you know, influence here with, with Nick and Rakeem and, and Coach, uh, Coach Chavis and, and even you? Well, I, I think the way you look at – um, obviously, the performance of last Saturday, I, 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 it doesn't matter who we play this week. It's, it's, we've, got to, we've, we've got to prepare if we're playing regardless, the number one team in the country or, or, or whoever it may be. And, uh, you know, with, with all, obviously with all the connections to, to Texas A&M, I mean, I'm sure there's some added incentive with, with some of these players. Um, a lot of these guys grew up and they went to school with each other, played against each other in high school. So, you know, that adds another dimension. And so, uh, it, you know, it's going to be a it'll be a great battle at uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday. We look forward to it. What kind of challenges does Texas A&M's defensive front present to you? Well, a lot. Uh, they're very sound. Uh, they're big. They're physical. Um, and uh, you know, they they've created a lot of TFLs, tackles for losses this year, and uh, very disruptive. Um, you know, when you look at last week's game against Auburn, I mean, I think Auburn had 299 yards of total offense. I mean, you know, and so now they ran the ball. But, uh, you know, they had to work for everything they get. And that's the one thing, as you watch film on these guys, they have to work for everything you get. So it's not going to be a different Saturday. we got to play well. And, again, I say it all the time, it's how we play. It's not who we play. And we got to play really well this Saturday. One more. You know, Jalen Catalan was running with the second team defense mm -hmm. yesterday. Might he be a guy that maybe sees some more opportunity? Yes, yes. Thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you all. Steve, you